Hey, guys. Apologies to Fishby, first and foremost, who commented on my Soderstrom video talking about how my Jonathan Dolan video from earlier today got removed. And yeah, it did get removed, because everything that I talked about in that video doesn't really make sense, especially after figuring out that Dolan has been injured the entire time. If that doesn't make sense to you, then please, let's move past that. I want to move past that video because I did try to find sources that said that Dolan was injured, but they weren't available to the best of my extent. Which, I guess it's okay because it's the AHL, but still. Normally, I'd be doing a face cam, a vlog kind of video for these kinds of things around these topics, but trust me, you really don't want to see what I look like right now. Especially because I made quite a big mistake today, and I thought it was pretty bad. And everybody's gonna make mistakes once in a while, and that's what I did by not being fully informed and in making my video that was supposed to be today's video, but now I'm making another video that's supposed to be today's video, and I'm talking about feedback. And in some form mistakes, because I did make a mistake, which is why I had to delete the video. But right now, I'm in a position where it is the off-season, yes, and I don't know what exactly it is I want to do for videos. That's why last night, after I came back home from watching the movie Us with my family, that was an amazing movie by the way, I put up a poll on my account here. It's at like 489 votes at the moment of this recording, so basically 500 votes, asking you guys what kind of videos you'd want to see and what you want to see more of. And I had a whole bunch of different options because I do indeed upload a huge variety of content that does span different topics. The five options that I put up were why I want, draft reports or other NHL prospect coverage, Canucks what if videos because I used to do those quite a bit, Canucks and NHL trade rumors and overall rumor videos, I also had NHL playoff coverage in there and overall Canucks discussion, topics about players and all that kind of stuff. And it's been kind of weird because I've been trying to put in a lot of effort towards the overall Canucks discussion, talking about the players, talking about the prospects that we have in Utica and all that stuff, trying to follow all these stories. But as the season comes to an end, there's less and less of an angle on many things, and more pulling things out of thin air, which is kind of what I was trying to do with my Dolan video today. But according to the poll, overall Canucks discussion isn't actually that popular. At least, in accordance to why I want and Canucks what ifs and NHL playoff coverage for some reason. Why I want 2019 draft reports and other prospect coverage got the most votes at 35%. Doing the math here, 35% of 489, that is 171 votes, which is great. So it says to me that a lot of you guys really do care about the prospect coverage and why I want and all that stuff. I also got some feedback asking to do why I want videos on players later in the draft, which is totally something that I'm going to do 100%. But a few of these other topics on here that got a lot of votes, Canucks What Ifs, they got 21% of the votes, which is actually second. And that is kind of funny to me because it is hypotheticals, it's not real, it's not fixed in truth. But I will admit I did have a few Canucks what if videos back from the past and those did do pretty well. So I might get back to doing some of those. NHL playoff coverage actually had 20% in this poll. It was third. Which was kind of weird because when I made my last playoff video, it was the Columbus Blue Jackets slaying the lightning video. And that one only got 1,600 views, which believe me, that's incredible. It's amazing to understand that there are 1,600 people who just took the time out of their day to listen to me ramble about that. But in comparison to some of the other videos that I've been uploading, specifically videos about prospects and drafts and all that stuff, it didn't necessarily get that many. But obviously I'm not gonna sit here and say, oh, you guys didn't watch the video, so I'm not gonna make videos like that anymore. If there's something from the playoffs that does catch my mind, I'm totally gonna talk about it because I love talking about hockey, right? It's just that understanding that the majority of people would rather see something else is kind of eye-opening to me. And that's overall something that I think is really valuable too. Overall Canucks discussion got 17%, and Canucks and NHL rumors got 7%. 
which in all honesty, I'm kind of happy about because NHL trade rumor videos have always been kind of weak in my opinion, and for sure they're interesting to talk about, but there's no real substance behind any of them, in my opinion at least, especially the ones that I've made on here. But taking a look at everything, for sure I'm going to be focusing on more prospects and everything. I've been asked to do franchise mode by a lot of you guys too, and believe me, that's fun and all, but I don't think I've actually sat down and played a franchise mode like legitimately played, sat down, made trades, free agents, maybe in about six or seven months now. And I could totally go back to doing that and I could totally make videos on it, but I just really don't want to because they take so much time to do. And I'm at a point in my life right now where playing video games all day isn't necessarily what I have on my agenda because I do have other things too, I am in college, I am doing this stuff, and YouTube, college, anime watching, all this stuff combining into one is just a very busy life as it is. Gaming is not necessarily something that I could sit back and say, yes, I have the time for this 100%. Sure, I could just combine YouTube and gaming as one, but a lot of the YouTube videos I make are at school. I record the audio at school and I just import the gameplay from my laptop and I do it all there. Because all these videos that I make, none of them are scripted. There are no footnotes, there are no scripts that I follow. Every video that I've made for the past three years, I want to say, they've all been off the top of my head, rambling, just how I would talk to a friend kind of videos. Obviously, I would cut when I'd make a mistake in my speech, but obviously that's what it's always been about for me. It's always just been sharing a piece of my mind and bringing things out. This is kind of why I never really pride myself in saying that I'm a good hockey YouTuber or whatever. I don't really say anything about me. I like to remain humble because I know that so many other people out there put so much more effort into what they do and what they say more than I could because, frankly, I don't have the patience to sit down and spend two, three hours crafting out a script like some of my other friends who put so much work in do. And I respect that 100% for sure. It's just that that's not me. I'm more quick off the top of my head, you know, just like spewing things out, talking about what I think is interesting, and that's always what it has been, and that's mostly what it's going to be. Especially going into this offseason and everything, there are so many things that I could cover and so many things that I think I will, but who really knows? It's all off the top of my head. And that's what we're kind of learning when I'm in school, because I do go to BCIT for radio, and that is such a cool experience. It's been an amazing first year for me. I'm actually very, very thankful that I was able to make videos on top of that basically every day. And now I have a radio portfolio that's going to attempt to get me a broadcasting job in the industry when I graduate. You guys can all check that down in the description. It's geopalermo.ca. Yeah, I had to buy that domain. But everything about me, everything that I have as a broadcasting personality is on there. And I will acknowledge that this is actually the first time that I've actually said my last name on my YouTube videos, and that's because I don't really want people searching up my name on Facebook and adding me, but now that I'm in this position where I'm supposed to go out onto the cyberspace and become a broadcasting media identity, that's kind of inevitable. But please don't do that. Don't add me on Facebook. I'm not going to accept. But you can follow me on Twitter though, that's fine too, I'd encourage that actually, I'm almost at 700 followers, that would be really nice. But yeah, going into the off-season, more why I want videos, more playoff coverage, I guess? What ifs are gonna probably make a comeback in some form or another, and obviously if there's a Vancouver Canucks discussion topic, I'll bring that up. I also kind of want to adventure into talking about other teams. That's something that I was kind of inclined to doing last year. I wanted to focus more on the Leafs as well as the Habs, because I have a very deep affinity for both of those teams as well as the Canucks, it's kind of weird, but... I never actually strayed too deep into that territory, I kind of stayed within the Canucks as the season went on, but I would be certainly willing to branch over into other territories as the offseason goes on because there's so much you can talk about. Things like, oh, how would Jack Hughes affect the New Jersey Devils? How would Capo Caco affect the New York Rangers? My issues with Vasily Podkolzin, where is Panarin going to go? Things like that, and I know not all those videos are going to be the ones that get the most views, but that's not really what it's about now, isn't it? It's just about me talking about what I believe is worth talking about. That's usually what it is, and that's why my Dolan video today was removed. 
because it was wrong and because I didn't do my research and I'm dumb for that, but <sighs> we all make mistakes, right? This has been too long. I never really anticipated this to be too long. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Twitter and Google Plus links are down below. Make sure to troll, dislike, and do not subscribe to LEGO Rocks and Gaming. Please check out my portfolio website. It's in the description. It'll boost my Google Analytics views. It'll get me a better mark on my project. And bye.